everybody, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 10 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And today's video is about why some cooked food is better than raw food. Why eating cooked food sometimes is better than raw. Alright, so that's a bit controversial, I know. But trust me, there is a lot of sense to it. And the first thing is pursuit of purity. Yeah, that pursuit of purity, which I had so bad when I first came to the raw food lifestyle over six years ago. I was really, really stuck in that mindset. I was even worried about like blending my food at one stage because I didn't want the metal to hit the bananas, hit the fruit, which left me very, very undercarved. I learned from that big time. I remember actually when Doug Graham came to Australia back in 2007 and he actually bought some heated tahini. And I remember at the time, Jury Rudder and I were like, oh my God, Heated tahini, he bought heated tahini. Oh my god, he's gonna eat that, it's not raw. It wasn't certified, verified, double checked raw. It wasn't like delivered it was by just, like chipmunks. It was just organic organic tahini from yeah. a health food store. Yeah, we, we were freaking out about it, but we'd been raw for like two days or something. Yeah, d yeah we were like trying to compare Doug 20 years, you know, so we, we didn't have a long term mindset. Yeah, you know, we didn't get it. And, and I have like had a lot of friends, actually a number of friends, end up in the mental ward trying to be. Try, like doing this pursuit of purity, you know, they can't, just starving. Yeah, I remember one friend. Um, they they didn't want to drink water because they didn't think it was pure enough. Even though it was purified water, they were getting the water. They wanted to get the water from the fruit, but they couldn't yeah. get the fruit. So they ended up being severely dehydrated. And another friend, you know, didn't want to eat non-organic fruit, so they end up fasting. Yeah. And then. Start to go a bit crazy. Start to be want to be oh, red dairy and that. Yeah. And then yeah. our friend V, who actually died from dehydration because she didn't want to drink the water from the the pure the purifier because that yeah. wasn't even pure enough. Oh, so, it, it's just it's terrible. It comes to the stage where you can actually kill yourself. Yeah. This pursuit of purity. So that's number one. Like that's an example of when eating cooked food is going to be eating better than eating raw food for some. So KFC. No, but high carb cooked vegan food is going to be better for some people to be eating than raw food. So the next one is the people who are trying to be 100% raw, 100% of the time for years and years and years, and they keep falling off the wagon back and forth. But when they fall off, they fall back heavily into you know, animal products or high fat vegan food, and they're actually damaging themselves more than if they were eating like a high carb cooked vegan diet. Because their body and their brain just going, what, what are we doing here? We're going yeah. fat, and we're going high carb, or, so they're going back and forth. So that's an example of it's better to eat, say raw to four star. You know, eat your fruit in the morning for lunch, and then have your high carb cooked vegan dinner. That's what would be an example of that dinner? Um, potatoes or fried. Potato, steamed potatoes, baked potatoes. That's boring. People, people can take a look at my Raw to 4 video for that one, but I want to keep moving. See, the cameraman's still here, folks. He's still cutting me off. This is if you love me. This is if you hate me. I'm sorry, folks. He does, he does add a bit of colour to the video. I'm sorry, but he's, he's, staying, class. he's staying around for now. But the next one is eating high-fat raw vegan. I mean, when I came to the lifestyle, I just thought all raw is fine. Anything that's raw is a-okay, -okay. just get the raw in there. But then I realized that, no, 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 this high-fat raw vegan is making me feel absolutely crap, and it is not the way to go. So you're better off having high-carb cooked vegan meals like corn pasta, rice, potatoes, starchy meals. You're better off having that than having this macadamia butter, the oil, cacao, superfoods, that sort of stuff. Really raw cashews? Yeah, no, <laughs> really big gut ache. That's what I was going to give you, definitely. I remember eating a two-pound bag of cashews in a movie cinema once. I, I, was like... I, I remember you doing that. <laughs> I remember you getting into the macadamia so much, and you know what? You were nowhere near as vibrant and yeah. healthy and energetic as you are now. Yeah. No way. Or sharp. So there are also some foods that are obviously better off cooked. You know, you can't have starches without them being cooked, like potatoes and rice and pasta and things like that. you got to cook them. But don't be scared of them. It's okay. You know, high carb cooked vegan foods are going to make you feel amazing. I've been incorporating a little bit here and there, and I feel great. You know, it's not a huge difference, and it's just so much more achievable and sustainable. So we live in this world where you can't exactly walk down the street and buy this like amazing, beautiful, juicy, you know, mango steam. Meal. Fifty different but, varieties of bananas. Yeah, or, 
or Morang or other 18 things. different varieties of jackfruit. Yeah, you can't, we don't live in that world, so we need a backup plan. And we need to drop the guilt associated with that, like drop the pursuit of purity that is driving us a little bit crazy. Okay, so high carb vegan foods are not going to hurt you, they're going to help you be the best that you can be. So that's what today is about, just choosing high carb cooked vegan foods over raw food sometimes. You know, if it's going to make you crazy, just go.